He doesn't come with al kalimatul mujmala. He doesn't come with, you know, general terms. بَلْ يَسْرَحُ وَيَضْعُ النُّقَاطِ فَوْقَ الْحُرُوبِ But rather, he is explicitly clear, crystal clear in his statements and his actions as a Salafi, as a Sunni, and he places the dots on their letters, meaning he dots every I and he crosses every T. He makes things crystal clear. He doesn't, when he writes, literally, figuratively speaking, when he speaks, he doesn't, he makes it clear that that's I, T. You know, he crosses that T. He puts a dot on that I. So you won't think it's I, L. You see? <clears throat> An example of this. فَهَذَا دَاوُودُ بْنُ عَلِيٍّ الْأَصْبَهَانِي المعروف بداود الظاهري قد قال في القرآن في الزمن المحنة أنه محدث فقام عليه خلق من أئمة الحديث وبدعوه An example of the Sunni that he's explicit in his beliefs specifically in the times of fitnas and that he doesn't use general Terms, he uses comprehensive, detailed, explicit terms, and he's not silent. He dots every I, crosses every T. An example of that is this Dawood, the son of Ali, Al Asbahani, commonly known or well known as Dawood Al Zahiri, who died 270 years after the Hijra. Dawood Al Zahiri. Dawood Al Zahiri was from what they call the Zahiri school with Ibn Hazm rahimahullah ta'ala he during those particular years of the trial that of the, that was plaguing the muslims at that time and we know Imam Ahmed Ibn Hamm went through this we know that Imam Al Bukhari went through this this was a big fitna in those days saying that the Quran was created well Dawood al Zahiri said that the Quran was an incident and some might even say it may be translated as an accident, an incident or an accident. So when he said this, the people got up, left him from among the people of knowledge. Some of the people of knowledge got up and left him. They abandoned him. They made the hujja against him. They brought the proofs against him. And they deemed him a muqtadir. They deemed him a muqtadir. They made tabdir on him. When you say takfir, takfir means kafaruhu. They made him a kafir. They deemed him a kafir. When you say badda'uhu, this is tabdir, meaning they made him a mubtadir. If they say fasaquhu, this is the Arabic lesson, by the way. Fasaquhu, it means they made him say he was a fasid. And of course, they didn't do it to him. He does it to himself. The person takes himself out of Islam. We don't say, he took so-and-so out of Islam. Likewise, when a person leaves the menhaj, we don't say, like Abu Osama al says, they're running around trying to make everybody, uh, take everybody off the menhaj. No, we're not taking people off the menhaj. You take your dog on self off the menhaj. You did it to yourself, so all we say is, he says so-and-so, and he did so-and-so, and he said such-and-such, and, such, and he did such-and-such, such. therefore, we don't consider him Salafi, so you take yourself off the menhaj. So Dawood al Zahiri. He took himself off of that which is Sunni by saying that the Quran was an incident. So the people, they brought the proofs against him. They, le they left him. They deemed him as a muqtadi' And then Al-Imam Ishaq ibn Rahawai, rahimahullah, who died in the third century, exactly 238 after the Hijra. Lama sami'a kalama Dawood fi baytihi. When Ishaq ibn Rahawai, the Imam, Ishaq ibn Rahawai, one of the mountains of knowledge. Rahmatullahi alayhi, Ishaq ibn Rahawai, rahimahullah. When he heard the statements of Dawood that he made about the Quran in his house, and this is the important part right here. وَكَانَ مِنْ قَبْلُ يُعَظِّمُهُ And before he heard, before Ishaq, an imam, Ishaq ibn Rahawai heard Dawood al-Zahiri make this statement about the Qur'an, 
كَانَ يُعَظِمُهُ Before he heard him make that statement, he used to glorify and magnify and praise Dawood al zahiri Pay attention, sisters. Pay attention, sisters back there. Pay attention, brothers. He used to magnify and glorify Dawood al zahiri That's why I said recently on SalafiTalk.net, when we found, I found out yesterday that there was a brother who was playing the tapes that I recorded at Masjid al-Muslimin, May Allah bless those brothers and sisters there and continue to make them a thorn in the necks of the Hizbiyun in New York. They are Salafis. You should visit that masjid, Masjid of Muslimin in Brooklyn, New York, on Fulton and Buffalo. This is a plug, right? You got to hang out with the Salafis, right? You got to stick with the Salafis. That's why those tapes, those 14 tapes, and I don't know how they became 18, because the brother said 18, how to build an Islamic household. Has some good stuff in there. But I realize now that there are some serious mistakes in there. And there's even some things that I mentioned on SalafiTalk.net that are dangerous. And there's some people and some organizations and some magazines that I praised. And I glorified and I magnified. And I gave the tezkiah for. Well, Ishaq ibn Rahway, similar to Dawud Adib, he used to praise and glorify Dawud al-Zahiri. But when he heard that statement, ثَبَّ عَلَيْهِ وَضَرَبَهُ وَأَنْكَرَ عَلَيْهِ in his house, he literally jumped on him, physically jumped on him, started beating him and repudiating him. Physically jumped on him, started striking him and repudiated him. That's what he did to this person just because he said what he said. And inshallah tomorrow we're going to bring another story, bi'idhnillah ta'ala, connected to Dawood. I hope you brothers stay, I hope you brothers are here. I hope you sisters are here. Because there's another, there's another story connected to Dawood al Zahiri, which brings that, which puts the icing on the cake from Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal. Rahimahullah ta'ala. Al Imam Ubaidullah ibn Abdul Karim al Razi, Rahimahullah Abu Zur'a al Razi, Yaqul bi Dawood, Law iqtasara ala ma yaqtasilu alayhi ahlul ilm. لظننت أنه يكمد أهل البدع بما عنده من البيان والآلة ولكنه تعدى. In conclusion, and if we have any time for questions, inshallah. In conclusion, and until tomorrow, inshallah. الإمام عبيد الله ابن عبد الكريم الرازي أبو زرعة الرازي رحمه الله تعالى. He said pertaining to Dawood, Dawood al-Zahiri, who made that statement about the Quran. He said, if he, if he only had restricted himself, if he only had confined himself to that which the people of knowledge, meaning the people of the sunnah, wal jama'ah, who have knowledge, had restricted themselves to, I would have thought that he would have been able to bring grief. He would have been able to bring sadness. He would have been able to have bring destruction. As we say here in America, he would have given them fever. He would have given fever to the people of Bid'ah from what he had of him from in himself, of eloquence, of the ability to do this and to do that, because Dawud al he had some skills. He had some skills. He wasn't like an nimkumpoop, an ignoramus. He had some technical skills. Lakinnahu ta'adda, but he transgressed. He didn't do what the people of the past said. al iqtisadu fi sunnatin khayrun من الاجتهاد في بدعة. To be to be economical, to stick with what you already have in the Sunnah is better than being diligent and stretching out and using your independent reasoning in the bid'ah. If he had only اقتصر ما عليه ما يقتصر عليه أهل العلم, if he had only stuck to and been restricted to and confined himself to what the people of that time were saying about the Quran, he could have demolished the people of bid'ah. But he went over the limits, not following the statement of the Imam Al-Za'i. Be patient with yourself on the Sunnah. Right? And stop where the people stop. And say what they used to say. To the end of that beautiful statement. And refrain and restrict yourselves from that was the people of the past refrained and restricted yourselves from hada wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barik ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam